Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be continuing on with making a solar system from the remains of the sun and the solar system. So if you remember last episode, probably about, I think we did it about two weeks ago now, um, just before the end of last year, we uh, had the sun explode and we had some of the remaining gas giants survive, so obviously Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, they were our only survivors and some of the dwarf planets as well, we didn't bother with the inner solar system. Um, at all, as in theory, they'd probably be destroyed by the sun's uh, explosion after it uh, reaches its maximum limit of a red giant. But anyways, yeah, we're not on that today. We're making a new system from the remains of what is left. So we have the white dwarf of what was once the sun over here. And then that's in a binary orbit with Jupiter sitting on the outskirts of this new system. And then we also have our new red dwarf star that formed over here now some people actually said something quite interesting in the red oh in actually no, this wasn't a red dwarf was it it's just more of an orangey dwarf but someone said something quite interesting in the comments and they were saying oh what proxima centauri is actually heading our way anyway so maybe the star it takes over is proxima so maybe, maybe soul 2 maybe this star is proxima at a latest point in its life i mean i'll let you guys be the judges of that but maybe maybe it's a little hypothetical theory on uh the story behind this soul 2 star but anyways let's um get into this so one thing i noticed was Uranus and Neptune, their textures reset. I don't know why, but I guess we're going to get to design them again because I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was really happy with the way they turned out. So um, I already deleted some of these. Uh, so I noticed, uh, hang on, they don't look right. Um, so yeah, again, I'm going to recustomize these guys and just make them slightly look a little different to what they um, once were. So just going to have Uranus and Neptune just slightly altered from their original appearances. Um, just to show a bit of like evolution and change. So there's Uranus there. So I mean, not much of a big change on Uranus, but you can see there's a few, uh, a few more um, bands have appeared. A few different colours, shades are in there now. Um, just to have a bit of uniqueness to Uranus. So there we go. Let's just have a, let's have almost like a greener shade. So maybe. Oh no, I don't like that. Now it's too green. It's got to be a very, very faint green if I want to use green. So. Maybe something like that. Oh, no, I don't know if I like that. It has to be very, very faint if I do want to even go near green. It still needs to look like its original sort of appearance. No, I'm not buying it. I don't like that. But, yeah, just a few mixes. Maybe some whiter shades in there. Maybe the north and south. Maybe they have, like, darker, darker shades now. So, something like that. And then the south pole as well. Maybe a darker, grayer sort of mix in there. And a little too... Uh, are we go into more of a deeper blue sort of colour shade in there, just to sort of mix it in a bit. But again, I just want it to be very, very pale, because, I mean, once once it looks like that, it probably always look like that. So, yeah, there's, there's a sort of Uranus sort of slight change. It's had a few appearance changes over time. So there's Uranus. Maybe I need to rename it. Maybe that's why it's defaulting back to what it once was. If I put a space in there, maybe I'll just put, like, a apostrophe in there or something, just so, um, or a comma. So there we go. Let's do that. Hopefully that will save. And then Neptune again. I want to have a few changes to good old Neptune. So again, I'm just going to remove some of these. So just have it down a bit. So already we can see it. Yeah, some of the, the bands changed a bit. So we'll keep it sort of like that. So what if we have like another white band that sort of uh, appears in the south as well? Maybe you just have a couple down there and then the deeper blue at the top. Maybe this sort of fades to... Um, more paler shade as well god that's way too much it looks it stands out too much i don't want that see it's you gotta blend the colors nicely and that is not how i want it but maybe if i do it ever so carefully maybe i can make them sort of blend a bit so let's have a few a few changes i mean in theory we're ruining neptune but i do want it to look like some things have changed over time because obviously this is far far past the solar system's um future now so i mean surely there's gonna be some visual changes right you know possibly you know a lot of times past things have changed maybe it absorbed some of that material um it forming around the new star so maybe it did pick up some new materials that's why hence it's looking slightly uh slightly different to what it once would have looked like so that's kind of the thought process i have behind this so yeah, I want to try something like that. So you can see it, Neptune's kind of been distorted, maybe with new, yeah, like new materials mixed in with it. So it's kind of changed a bit. So, I mean, you can still, it's still, I mean, you can still identify it as, a, you know, a Neptune or an ice giant and all that. But, you know, it's not what it once was for appearance. So, 
Maybe the composition changes a bit. Maybe, maybe it gets a little more hydrogen. So maybe it increased a bit, but this mass is still roughly the same. But maybe some of its mass was lost during the sun's uh, death. So maybe it did lose some material from that. So there we are. I mean, I'll keep, I'll keep it roughly around its original, but maybe it, maybe it regained some of that. So actually, I will keep it roughly where it once was. Actually, I'm going to leave that alone. So there we go. So that's our sort of Neptune change. You can see the North Pole, you know, but it seems to blend a little nicer. I'm in there now, so it's, yes, uh, looking good. Somewhere around there. I'm liking it. The grey bands, I mean, I'm not so sure. I'll just try and make them a little more blue just to mix them in there. But yeah, there we go. So there's a um, a Neptune sort of redesign or been altered through time. So some changes have happened in Neptune over a long period of time. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's original form no more. There we go. I'm going to keep it like that. I think that looks fairly, fairly cool. So there we go. And then again, I'll just like it to be Uranus because I think they, the texture's definitely changed. So... Well, they definitely reset back to what they once were, so let's just try that. Uh, there's Neptune. And then lastly, Saturn. Again, same sort of process of you. Um, I want to have that looking at different as well. So there's Saturn. Let's lower these bands down because I don't want it looking ridiculous. And I don't want to spend too much time on it. So there you go. I'll just lower it down there. So already we can see it Saturn's. Yeah, a few, a few changes going on here. So... Yeah, looking good. Maybe we'll have some whiter shades mixed in Saturn as well. So just to show that Saturn's had a few visual changes over the years as well. But, I mean, not, not too much. I mean, Saturn's blanded out a bit, kind of like Uranus. So, there you go. I'm going to leave it like that. So it's got like a mix of greys and then the original cream. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to do too much to it. I think that looks all right, actually. So, again, let me just change the characters and the names so it should save. Uh, for some reason, there's always been a glitch in this game. If you sometimes edit a planet and you keep the original name, sometimes it resets in the size changes and all that. I know that used to happen back in the day. Jupiter, pitch black. But again, I do want to have some visual changes over here. So, there we go. So, you can see a Jupiter distorted looking. Ooh. So, long period of time, Jupiter has changed. Not sure the red spot would be there anymore. So, I mean, again, if I actually change the name and then resave the simulation, that red spot will disappear. So... There we go. Because remember, the red spot isn't destined to be there forever. So, yeah, that will uh, will disappear. So, there we are. Let's, again, let's have some uh, different colours mixed in there just so it stands out a bit more. There we go. Try and create some new bands in uh, the mighty Jupiter. So, let's try and uh, get some in. There we go. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, it looks all right, actually. So, yeah, a few, a few videos. I mean, it's still, it's still recognisable as what it was as the mighty Jupiter. But, you know, there's a few few changes that have uh, gone in over time so there we are let's try and get that south pole looking a little more blended in together there guys something like that do we keep a bit of red in there no i'm not buying it no i don't want that oh no where the red one go there it is let's put that back to something like that there we go okay i'll leave that alone i'm not going to do too much changes to jupiter but i mean yeah it's looking looking pretty good Maybe, maybe the whiter colours, we can grey them out a bit. So maybe a little more, a little darker in some areas as well. Just to show a uh, change. So loses some of its uh, less colourful. Also loses some more of its colourful uh, clouds. So darken it down a bit. There's that white band in the middle. I wouldn't mind changing that a bit. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. So we go over deeper. Ooh. Somewhere there, somewhere around there. Again, I do, I do kind of like the darker mixes in there. So I'm just trying to, we had a few more in here and there. Oh, yeah, that's a little better. No, I don't like that. That's too much. It's one of the bigger bands. But yeah, there we go. So Jupiter looks a little more generic, more almost looks a little more Saturn-like in visuals now. But yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so that's been resaved. So let me go ahead and save it. Now, fingers crossed this doesn't, when I reopen the simulation, it doesn't reset the textures because that would be really annoying. But let's see. It should be fine. I've renamed them. So the game won't recognize them as the originals anymore. So the red spot will disappear once we reopen this. So let's do this. Because only the red spot will only add to objects named Jupiter. So if we see here, uh, it has kept the new design. But look, you can see the red spot has vanished. So good stuff. Well, hang on. Is that the original? Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, did it reset him again? See, look, it has. Oh, that's so annoying. Look, it's reset them back to the original. Why? Why does it do that? Oh, 
God damn, that's very annoying. What I'll do is, I'll take a pause, I'll quickly replace them with new objects, and then we'll go from there, guys. So just bear with me, I'm not going to waste your time me doing it all over again. Okay, everyone, so I've recustomized the gas giants. As we can see, um, Jupiter here, I did a little different type of uh, recustomize, and I've inverted it, so I've flipped it over, I've changed the name to the red spots gone, so it looks a little different than uh, what it would before. Not much, but I've kept Jupiter with the same texture. I haven't changed the bands, but with the other planets, I thought I'd change them. They're renamed as well. So for Saturn, we now have Sat. So I've just gone with a quite a bland-looking planet. So not too much visual change there. For Uranus, we've got Uran over here. So again, quite similar to what we designed. I managed to get a bit of a greener shade in there as well. So a few little subtle changes to what was once Uranus. And then lastly, Neptune over here. This one... I. Uh, I'm still not convinced of it. I, for some reason, I think the regular gas giants, they have special features or like a special texture. So when you customize them, it doesn't save properly. But now these are random gas giants. These are saved and I've reopened it. They're all fine. Um, I'm just not convinced with this Neptune. I, uh, I don't know. I think those dark bands are a little too deep, actually. I might re-customize those. So just a few... Some more subtle changes to this Neptune, but I'm fairly happy with the way it's turned out. But it's just, I'm not sure about the colour blends neither. I think they're a little too, uh, I don't think the colours are blended the best, I have to say. Now, I guess I can just quickly try and, uh, try and uh, at least make an attempt to try and uh, get it a little better. So, it's just about getting the right shade sort of mixed in together. I mean, I don't think it looks that bad, I have to say. I mean, maybe I'll just make this colour a little more of a deeper blue as well i'm not sure about the white north poles as well i may just change those down that hideous uranus looking band needs to go so let's deepen that this deep band here i'm quite tempted to have that as more of a paler whitish shade but yeah there you go so that's what this is what was once neptune now I've, I've kept the masses and the radiuses roughly what they once were as well oh, we're gonna have two white bands actually that doesn't look too bad yeah something like that yeah but, I mean, otherwise I'm going to be customising this server, so it's probably best to stop for uh, a little more, little, another white band in there, maybe just fail it, fade it in and out. But, before I keep customising, we're going to stop. Apart from that little band there, I just want to have that a little more, that blue's a little too... Uh, oh, it's, it's tricky trying to get it exactly where you want it. Something like that. There we go, so that's how recustomize Neptune but again I'm still not convinced I could keep faffing around with it for ages oh that dark blue get that out of here I don't like that either it's just got to be fairly realistic okay right we're gonna leave it there that's enough of that right so onto the system itself so we were still customizing our new star our new system so I think we got out to this planet here so this was a hot desert world so I'm not gonna do much to that uh, moving further out now, so we got some more random worlds in here. So I think we need some more generic looking worlds as well. So for instance, this one here, I'm going to leave it alone. So, I mean, not much here. I mean, we could probably change the texture a bit, just have some craters and stuff. But I mean, I'm not going to do much to it. So where are we if we go to the... Where is it? I always forget where it is, isn't it? It's base colour. And I want a map. Uh, oh, Okay. Interesting. Is this because it's got water on it? There you go. Okay. Gotcha. So, for instance, this one has an atmosphere as well. We're going to fade that down. So, that's that. Okay. So, I don't want that. I want a very thin atmosphere. But I kind of want to keep the Mimas crater. I mean, it does look pretty cool. So, just a very thin atmosphere. But, again, it's not much going on here. We could have it sort of inverted just to make it look different again as well but there you go i'm gonna hopefully stick with something like that yeah so just some more generic looking worlds in there because we do have too many sort of fancy customized there definitely needs to be some more generic worlds so for instance this one here as well let's go to realistic lighting as well because i went on directional there we go okay cool so uh there we are now this one again i want to use some maps it's not often we get to use the maps for stuff so i do want to sort of take advantage of some of these so i'm not going to use io but okay there we are so it's annoying you can't customize the colors there definitely was a way at one point where you could change the colors of the maps as well so i don't know why that's gone i have to say but we could mess with these 
can sort of invert things around and really mess up um, stuff but it's just annoying you can't change the actual um, color of these textures got Iapetus there, Dione, where's um, Phobos and Deimos are quite interesting ones, let's use Deimos, there you go so again, just another sort of generic looking mod. Uh, I don't think an atmosphere is appropriate uh, for this one. I'm going to remove that completely. So no, no atmosphere for you. There we go. So just a plain old cratered world. Nice and simple. What's this world over here? Next planet out. So that's a gas giant. That's one of our new gas giants. That's our new dominant gas giant. Actually. So I'm going to leave that alone. We already customized that. We've got this world over here. So again, it has an atmosphere. Oh, no, it doesn't have an atmosphere, actually. Okay, let's have a little look. Zoom in on it. Okay, there it is. It looks pretty... You know, I'm kind of happy the way that's turned out, actually. It doesn't look too... Not too shabby, actually. Uh, base colour. Okay, maybe that green can sort of... Ooh, I don't know, actually. I know the kind of rate the dark sort of green, actually. Ooh, that does look good, though. Yeah. That bluish shade is a bit interesting as well. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out, actually. It does... It looks a bit generic, but you know, it looks like it's got a bit of... Um, uniqueness to it. We'll give it an atmosphere. Oh, this one I will go have an atmosphere for. Just sign small. Um, random number. Um, and uh, it's just a very, very faint atmosphere. Um, be a pale green. Nothing too really insane. I mean, because it's got the ray, the ray thing on it, so you can actually fade it in quite nicely. So just a dim sort of greenish shade. Nothing too ridiculous. But there you go. Something like that. We'll give it a... Um, so it stands out a bit. We'll give it a nicer trail as well. So just a dim green. I mean, just so just so we know we customise them as well. I always like to just give them a little trail colour. Just so we know we have been there and they have been done. So there we go. A U. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, next planet out. So there's our dominant gas giant there. We've got Pluto. Pluto. Hey, how you doing? So, this is one of the surviving worlds, but since it's not a gas giant, I mean, effectively, I'm going to keep its surface as is. So, again, we'll give it a nicer shade on the interface, so we know we've been here. Vegetation, maybe? Nah, 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 no way. Maybe some water. Yeah, why not? I mean, Pluto does have somewhat of an atmosphere, so maybe, maybe in this, around this new star, maybe some new material it picked up, maybe, maybe it can have a bit of an atmosphere back. So... I mean, it should, in theory, it should have an atmosphere anyway. So let's just give it something like Mars atmosphere. It's something like fairly respectable. A uh, bit of infrared to temperature. Um, it does have a bit of an elongated orbit, so that's going to be sort of its failure in this system, is it just can't get its orbit right. So there we are. But even way, even though, I mean, it's looking a little better. I mean, we'll put the vegetation on, so if it gets close, it will switch on. Um, I mean, if at all, I mean, we could have it as always on, so Pluto gets greened out. But it's a little too much green for me. Um, anyways, um, I want to... What's it? Uh, settle. Yeah, okay. So Pluto, since the red giant sun's gone, it's now getting a bit of temperature from the new star. Maybe maybe that water can exist. It's not losing material, is it? Uh, no, I think it's fine, actually. Okay. We can see Pluto's got a new... Uh, I'm going to keep it as like icy water. I think that'll look quite good, actually. So it still looks quite frozen up. Let's just try and make it look a little different but yeah frozen water ocean so it still looks pretty cold again the summer with the ice i know it's like a pale or white color so he, so even then it still looks uh, a little different i don't want it fully white i just need to just get the perfect shade of blue to really look good actually so hmm can't be too colour. I want it to still look fairly frozen looking. Something like that, I'd say. Uh, clouds? I mean, we can have um, some thicker clouds. Maybe some uh, wispy. No, I think wispy suits Pluto nicely. Turn them up. Yeah. Okay. So Pluto's seen a bit of action now in its new place. I'm going to keep it as a very pale sort of blue. Uh, where's that ray scattering? Um, let's have a little play with that. So... Thickness, atmosphere thickness is not going to be the thickest atmosphere you've ever seen either. Um, and then I just want to have it as a very, very pale shade. Yeah, something like that. So Pluto, we can see if it comes in and out with its orbit. But we'll have to uh, wait and really see how it uh, 
turns out in theory. So there's Pluto's new orbit. So if we put it at its closest point to the star, so let's have a little look here. So right about here is the closest point. So it's still too far from the star to have any sort of um, temperature. I mean, we can put it to zero, but... Oh, it has gone green. Let's see. Hey, but that's only because we put it to zero. So Pluto would look like this if it can retain its temperature, which it can't. It is losing material as well. Um, just for convenience purposes, I am going to just give it a bit more mass just so it can hold on to that a bit more. There we go. That's better. So that's Pluto in its current appearance. So looking good. Maybe a little too much water. I'm just going to lower it down a bit more. There you go. Uh, make sure we have that all settled so it's behaving itself. Oh, no, a little too much water still. Ah, no, I think some of that was ice. That's why. Uh, settled water. Yeah, okay, right. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not going to do too much to it. There you go, Pluto. There we are, everybody. Looking good. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. And then we will see how Pluto develops throughout this system's history. But it is going to get cold. It's not got the temperature. Look, that, look it's nowhere near it. So, interesting stuff. We'll have to see how that behaves. Uh, then we've got some more sort of random rocky planets in this asteroid belt area. So, again, I mean, we can just go with some of the cool looking textures just to make them all look different. So, could go with the Europa look to it. I mean, eh, let's see. That atmosphere is quite thick, isn't it? Let's uh, turn that off. Okay, there you go. Europa's always been quite an interesting one, isn't it? You know, with the way it looks. Uh, the cracks. Oh, those cracks. Very thick atmosphere. Maybe it was a pale, sort of whiter. So it's not directly noticeable as Europa. So, I mean, we'll just have it inverted just so it looks different as well. But there you go. So there's a uh, lookalike of Europa. Probably not the original Europa, though, because that's probably... Uh, in theory, that would still be around Jupiter, actually. So we have to kind of see how that plays out in the future of this system. So... It's interesting though, and I think we got a um, got an interesting lineup of objects so far. You know, we got some more generic Rockies, and then we got some newer ones. So, but we got our customized ones, I should say. So, no, I'm not buying the Europa though. This Europa is quite a unique look. Ganymede, on the other hand, now that I do like the way that looks. Yeah, I'm like that. I think that looks good actually. Maybe this one we could go over a more brownish shade of atmosphere. So let's see where are we. So yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. And dim it down a bit so it's got that proper brownish sort of look, brick red brownie sort of color look. Uh, lower that down, increase. Yeah, lower this. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking it. And just so we know, customize it. I will just increase its color there. Okay, next up we've got this one over here. I'm going to leave that alone completely. That's just going to be a frozen ice world. So I'm not even going to touch that. That's fine the way it is. All right. Then we've got Make Make over here. Remaining object from the... Whoa, that's spinning fast. Uh, Make Make, remaining object from the old solar system. Still chilling here. Um, well, it is theorised that this has a red sort of look to it. not Kind of like Sedna, but not as much. So, can they just have a few... And that's all due to the fallings on its surface. So, it's theorised... I believe Make Make is theorised to have fallen sort of looks as well. So, again, we just want to sort of make... I don't want them to be too dominant on the surface. So, I do want it to be quite faint looking. Because it's nowhere near going to be as red as Sedna or Mars, for that matter. So... Maybe just just a few bits of red in there. We can have the yeah, like have the higher elevation and then the lower elevation. Kind of just fade those out to a normal sort of looking rock. Or do we have the do we have this as the white and then have this one as the raw red? Y yeah, yeah, all right. And then just deep them down. So there you go. So fallings, Pluto, Pluto's fallings are like that brownish color as well. What Pluto gets on its surface. So yeah, there's Make Make's uh, sort of relook or redesign. So. So that's uh, just chilling out there. I wouldn't. I'm not going to give back him any changes. It's still just really far out. So there we go. Got some of the other older dwarf planets over here, like Orcus, Hermea, all of these guys. So I mean, again, I'm going to leave them alone. Oh, Orcus is looking pretty interesting. What's going on with Orcus? I do like the way that looks. Has it got its own texture now? What's that all about? No, that's just the generic look to it. Well, either way, it looks awesome. So 
Again, I'm just going to... Uh, whoa. Oh, it's going on Orcus. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it looks great. But I don't know why. Why does it look like that? There's no texture I've ever seen. Oh, I do like that. That's really cool. Is there water on it or something? No. Why does it look like that? Well, it's like a unique look to Orcus. I mean, I'll take it. That does look good, actually. I really like that. Uh, let's just try and get this brown. I'm going to give it like a Follins look as well. Give it like a slight brownish shade to it. There you are. No, I like it so much, I'm actually going to save it as a custom Orcus. Uh, there we go. Now, how do I how do I label? Because I label my planets in quite a specific way in my menu. Hang on, let me just line them up. So I've got all my customer solar system objects. So, yeah, I don't actually have one. Oh, no, I do have one for Orcus. Okay, let's see what my current Orcus looks like compared to this then. Oh, this one's way better. Okay, so I need to name it K-A- Orcs. I think it's space KA as well. So hang on, let me just do this. So I want to keep that. That's actually that's a keeper. So space KA Orcus. So that will save it as a separate object anyway. There you are. So hopefully that will add it to this list once it resets. Um, cool. Okay, I've got it saved somewhere though, so I can always reorganize it. But yeah, I really like the way Orcus looks. What is all those craters about? I didn't smash into anything, so I don't know what that's all about. Looks cool though. I like it. Unique. So that's what we like to see. Okay, it looks really good. I really like the way that's looking. I don't know why, but it looks great. So there's Orcus. Then we have Saturn. So that's out here. We've got Chiron, some of the other remaining solar system objects. Nothing of too much significance. I'm actually just going to delete that one as well. Chiron here. Again, it's quite an insignificant one. I'm just going to get rid of it. Sedna. What's left of Sedna over here? I mean, this was so far away anyway. Um, but for some reason, Sedna doesn't generate in the game with its texture so if we go to elevation map we can actually put the sedna map on it so it should have this map anyway uh, where are i sedna there you go that's how it should look yeah nice so again red with all the fallings on it but again sedna typical sedna so far away from anything that it's just <laughs> darkness then we also have one other object over here orbiting the white dwarf but again it's an insignificant object so i'm just going to scrap it so this is where the system stands now looking quite good honestly i'm liking it Gas Dwarf, how are you doing over here? So let's see. Yeah, I always like these ones. These are always cool. I'm going to make it blue, though. I want to have a blue one. Maybe it's more of an ice gas dwarf. So uh, that's what it looks like underneath the atmosphere. So clouds. I mean, we could... Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, no, no, it was like a pale, a pale blue. Uh, atmosphere, nice and simple as well. Pale blue on top of that. Uh, where's the, the the light scattering? Let's... Yeah, I'm going to have it just dimmed out, I think. Oh, I like it the way it is. I think it looks really cool. So, there you go. Leave it alone. No no changes necessary. Underneath it looks pretty insane. Um, I don't know why it looks like that, but it looks cool. I mean, if I do this, it would probably change it, would it? I don't know. What is causing that red? Is it oceans? Nice snow. Something to do with the snow. Water. Oh, that's water there. Ice. Oh, ice. Ice, snow, water, off. And then base colours, just all of these. Oh, okay. So if I just make it blue to look like a gas a gas well, try and mix it. I don't know what's causing that red glow to it, though. I mean, maybe it's a tint. I, I honestly do not know. Interesting. Base colour. Heat glow? No. See, all these are switched off. I don't know what's causing that red look to it, but it looks cool, so I'll leave it alone. So that's probably the, the heat hidden underneath, maybe. Snow, ice, water, back on. But yeah, the water will have us a really cool blue, I guess. Uh, and there you go. And I'll leave, that's all hidden underneath there anyway, so, I mean, there you go. I'll leave that alone. So Gas Dwarf, nice blue uh, looking world there. Uh, I think I could do... No, no, I'll leave its mass alone, actually. It is a gas dwarf. Uh, there you go. Lots of water contained in there. Has Earth similarity, eh? <laughs> hey. Nice. So that's on the edges of this system anyway. Looking good. And I think that is ma basically everything. Um, no, I don't need the asteroid. Has it we done this one? No, we haven't. Okay. Let's head to it. Again, let's go to the base colour going to go to a map now who do we want to try this time got care on there we didn't use uh phobos we'll use phobos there you go another unique looking world 
Again, I'll leave it alone. That's fine the way it is there now. So, there we are. We've got a few of the other solar system objects out here. But again, I'm going to leave those alone. I'm not going to make too much changes to those. Uh, no, they're fine. Cool. Did, did we do this one? Oh, that's our other gas giant. Hey, look. That's our second new gas giant in here. So, looking good. We'll give that like a deep blue so we know it's a gas giant. And then this is our dominant gas giant here. Our new dominant gas giant that... It's a pretty large radius, but it's nowhere near as massive as the mighty Jupiter, which is an orbit of the white dwarf, remember? So, looking good. Again, I'll just give it a deeper orange so we can really see it stands out. All right, cool. So, that's what we've got. Now, there's Eris as well down there. See, what is that all about? See, it's a bit dim again. But again, with Eris, I will we'll change this. So, map. I always like Iris to be just a nice reflective white object. So, I mean, I'm just going to go with that. I mean, I don't really need to give it any texture, really. I mean, Titan's one doesn't look quite good on Iris, actually. Pluto? I think that'll just make it look as normal. Yeah, but you can't change it because normally I'd have a white Pluto, like a fully white coloured Pluto, but I can't do that now. Bit annoying. Serious. Yeah, so they're all... Oh, if I just leave it as none, it's a nice shade of white. So I'm going to leave that alone. Leave that like that. Cool. And I think that does it for our system. So, yeah, that's looking good. Got a bit more realistic looking designs, apart from this crazy green world here with no exclamation for it. Very strange, mysterious world sitting in the inner solar system there. So that's probably the only really world that stands out from that list there. Has uh, been a pretty, uh, pretty much of an anom anomaly. So that's what it looks like. So it's got like a swampy looking world, wasn't it? So got the rich green there. There you are. So nice looking world there. I'm very happy with the way this has turned out, actually. So a solar system from the remains of our own solar system. So there you go. That one there is probably the closest to Earth-like conditions. Uh, where was it? Uh, was it this one? That one there. That's probably the closest to Earth you'll get in this system. So, Oh, that's using that Sedna texture as well. Ah, yeah, that's looking good. I like that. I think mean, that looks really good, actually. So what do you think of that? Honestly, I'm very happy with the way this is. So, yeah, you guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments of this. And also, should I evolve this from to death now? We've, we've formed our new system, so we could kind of make this into an evolving birth to death system as well. Do you guys want to see that? Let me know down below in the comments. I think that would be a cool one to do. So, stay tuned. And, yeah, let me know if you want to see it. Because we've already built the system. We might as well finish it and let it evolve. So, again, let's go ahead and save. And that does it for the system sets. Get the lineup of the system as well. And we will go from there. So there we go. Let's uh, line them up. There you go. Okay, so this is our lineup. So we got Sol 2, which may or may not be Proxima Centauri, as some of you guys theorized in the last episode. So then we've got our new gas giant, which is the largest, but not the most massive. So we've got that one there. Then we've got Jupiter. Which is looking a little different as well. Um, these ones need to be re-modified. I, I did the, the radius. This should be about 59, shouldn't it? So, again, I'm going to make this bigger. Saturn should still be roughly there. There's Uranus. So Uranus is actually bigger than its original one. So we just have to resource size these. Uranus is usually about 24,000. So we'll just round it up. Uh, Neptune is about 20, 23,000. Not 23,000 Earths. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh that's going to be bad. We want that to be 23,000 kilometers. There you go. So a little smaller than Uranus. There's our other new gas giant in there. So there's that. Looking good. Then we got onto the rocky planet. This is quite a large rocky world. This super Earth. 2.2 radius of Earth there. Looking pretty good. So, we'll see. so Neptune. So it was. We did do 23,000, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So roughly. Roughly the size of what they once were. I mean, I think there are actually a little larger. I think Uranus is about 26,000, actually. So, something like that. And then Neptune. I think Neptune's actually 24. Off the top of my head. I mean, I'm... Something like that. But, yeah, I'll leave them alone. Because I thought they looked a little too close to the Rockies. There's Gas Dwarf down there. And then all of the other Rockies we have designed. Very happy with the way this has turned out, actually. Got a nice different size range of everything. There's the White Dwarf that was once the Sun. So, I mean, we can actually rename this to the Soul. So, the original Soul. So, just so we know it was once the Sun. Then, onto the other planets. Got some of the Dwarfer ones down there. There's Pluto. 
And then some of the... So Pluto's looking pretty fancy right now. It's looking good, but it's getting cold. And it's going to keep freezing, so... There you go, and then there's all of the dwarf planets from the old solar system. There's Orcus looking great. I love the way that Orcus looks. But again, I have no idea why it looks like that. So, yeah, we are. Cool. So we've got the old system, the new systems, objects merging. All white dwarfs getting a bit uh, luminous. What's going on here? Oh, it's because we're changing the objects, isn't it? Or changing what we're looking at. Cool. I like it. So, there we are. That does it for our new system formed from the remains of the solar system so there we are guys i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you did hit that like button as well guys and subscribe for more helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as we're getting closer and closer by the day i really appreciate all the support you guys have given and let me know if you want to see this system evolved to death now i think that'll be really really cool to see and yeah guys with that all said and done make sure you guys all stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye